Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today we are going to be making something a little bit cool for the summertime because it is starting to get really hot in California. So we are going to be making I Can Has Cheeseburger Ice Cream Sandwiches. I'm really excited because we've never made ice cream sandwiches before on Nerdy Nummies. So let's get started. The things you will need will be a little bowl of flour, just to sprinkle around to roll out our cookie dough. And you'll need a sugar cookie recipe. You can use whatever recipe you'd like. I'm just using an instant one to save time. And this one calls for one stick of butter and one egg. You also need a circle cookie cutter like this. It's about an inch deep. This will help with the ice cream later on, but if you don't have that, it's okay. You're also gonna need some white sparkling sugar sprinkles, a rolling pin, a sharp cutting knife, a cookie sheet and some chocolate ice cream. Yum, 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 yum. Let's put it all together. Okay, now you're gonna take your cookie mix, put it in a bowl, stick of butter, then one egg. And then we're gonna mix it up for about two minutes until everything is smooth and combined. Are we locked and loaded? Yeah. Now that we've got our sugar cookie mix all smooth, now we're gonna roll it out and cut our cookies. So you're gonna take a little bit of flour, I'm just gonna put it on the countertop so that our cookie dough doesn't stick to the table. If your cookie dough is a little bit sticky, just keep adding flour until it doesn't stick to your hands anymore and then you'll know it's ready. Now you're gonna take your rolling pin, sprinkle a little flour on it so it won't stick to your cookie dough. And now we're just gonna roll out the cookie dough. There we go, that's nice. And we're gonna cut out our sugar cookies. Boop. Peel off the excess dough. And then we're gonna transfer the cookies onto our baking sheet with a little spatula. Now that we've got our cookies cut out and on the tray, just remember that you'll need two cookies for every ice cream sandwich. One will be the top and one will be the bottom. So I've got six here. I'm gonna make a bunch more, but I'm just starting with six. And you're gonna take your sprinkle sugar and you're just gonna sprinkle it on top of half of your cookies. So the one with the sprinkles will be your burger topper bun. Now you're gonna heat your oven to 350 and you're gonna bake these for five to seven minutes. Just keep your eye on them and soon as they start to turn golden brown, they're ready. While the cookies are baking, you're gonna take out your chocolate ice cream and we are gonna be making the middle of our ice cream sandwiches that will look like meat patties. So I'm gonna be using a cutting board, a sharp knife, and the same cookie cutter so that our ice cream sandwich will line up. So you're just gonna open your ice cream, and this is gonna be a little bit crazy, but we're just gonna chop it in half. Okay, you're one, you're, okay, you're gonna need to get a serrated knife. Oh, geez. Oh yeah, that's, that's better. There we go, oh, there we go. All right, then we just peel off the container, like this. There we go. Come out of there. <laughs> Then you're just gonna take your cookie cutter and you're gonna press it all the way down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. How do I get it out there? Okay, here, oh yes. <laughs> then you're just gonna chop it into slices. Boom, there's one and you're gonna wanna stick these in the freezer as soon as you cut them so that they will hold their shape just like that. After your cookies are done baking, you're gonna take them out of the oven. Make sure they've had plenty of time to cool before you do this. We don't want warm cookies with our ice cream sandwiches because it will make our ice cream melt. You're also gonna take your chocolate patties out of the freezer. I've set my freezer to the coldest settings to keep them very cold, otherwise they will melt. We are also gonna be working quickly to assemble these and I'll show you how to assemble these. So you're gonna take 
your cookie. You're gonna flip it upside down to look like the bottom of the hamburger. And, oh, are you gonna stay together? Are you gonna stay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, they're cold enough. You wanna make sure they're really cold when you transfer them. If you want to do this, this is totally optional to make your ice cream cheeseburger look more like a cheeseburger. We can decorate with raspberry puree, lemon puree, and green apple puree to make them a little bit thicker so you can see them. I've added a little bit of frosting with the puree sauce. It tastes so good, sweet and fluffy. Yum, 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 yum. Now you're gonna take the sugar cookie where you put all the sprinkles on top and you're just gonna stick it right on top. ba -doo. Then you're just gonna do that to all of your ice cream sandwiches. Yum, 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 yum. Ta-da! I can has cheeseburger ice cream sandwiches. I hope you guys liked them. It's starting to get hot here, summertime, and I love ice cream sandwiches. Let me know if you'd like to see another ice cream sandwich because these were really fun and easy to make. You just gotta work fast. Okay, I'll be posting a lot of pictures on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you make these, please send me some photos because I love seeing your baking creations. I get a big kick out of it. And if you have any other ideas for any other nutty nummies, please leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Okay, thanks again, you guys. Bye bye. Cheeseburger, dun 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 dun. I want cheeseburger, dun 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 dun. I want cheeseburger, dun 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 dun. Okay, now you're gonna take your cookie mix, put it in a bowl.